Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pawana Sapakna. Try to gather your thoughts and gather your awareness right here at the breath. We have lots of little desires as we go through the day, and we tend to leave a little bit of our mind with each of those desires. And you can end up the day with your mind scattered all over the place, little bits and pieces here and there. And when the mind is in bits and pieces, it doesn't have much strength. So try to gather everything right here. If you're going to desire anything, desire to have the mind settle down and find a sense of well-being inside, a sense of peace inside. Try to gather everything else around that one desire. Anything that goes flitting off, you say, nope, that's not where I want to go. I've been there before. That's not where real happiness lies. It lies right here. Getting the mind to know itself, to be its own, to be its own mind. Stay with the breath as a way of anchoring the mind in the present moment. And you bring three qualities. You bring mindfulness, or alertness, and ardency to this. Mindfulness is remembering why you're here, what you want to do. Alertness is watching what's actually going on. And then ardency is learning how to take what's going on and fashion it in a skillful way. So if you find that the mind is wandering off, how do you fashion things back so it's back with the breath? When it's with the breath, how do you fashion things so that it gets more and more settled in? Try to be as sensitive as you can to the breathing. That makes it much more interesting, because you find that the breath energy goes through the whole body. It's not just what you feel at the nose or at the lungs. Everything is involved here. This helps anchor your mind right here. And when the mind is anchored here, then you can get to know it, to see what good things it has, what bad things it has, and how you can deal with it too. And the way that the mind becomes not only something that has a sense of well-being inside, but it shapes the rest of your life in a good way too. So try to gather everything right here. It's good to have some idea of what you want out of life. If you just go through kind of aimlessly or let other people determine what you want out of life, time passes by, passes by, passes by, and you don't get any younger. And a lot of times you find your, your time has been frittered away. Well, don't leave your life with the thought that you'd frittered away a whole human life. Make sure you leave life with a sense, okay, this is something that you where you accomplished something. You set your mind on something and you really accomplished it. And so learn how to train the mind so it can be focused and gathered like that, so it has the strength to accomplish what it wants. Otherwise, if it's scattered all over the place, None of the little bits and pieces of the mind have that much strength, and not much gets, gets accomplished. So it's your choice. And this is the skill for how to bring everything together and focus your energies on something that's really important. 